Medical direction. There's a couple of different types of medical direction. To start with, there's the offline medical director. And there's a couple of roles with that. Your service should have an offline medical director and they can help um, with things such as purchasing equipment and maybe deciding protocols for your service. Um, and then sometimes when your QI, QA uh, reports, they might be involved with that too. And if your service has questions about how to do something, they can provide education. So they should be involved in the education process. We don't think about the offline medical director as much. Uh, oh, and one more thing that we should be thinking about with them is they should do some sort of yearly credentialing with you. So um, at least here in Alabama, our medical director is supposed to meet with us once every year to review our protocols and quiz us and check our skills to make sure that we're, we're competent. A lot of services have a designated person that the medical director has designated to do that for them, but there should be some review by medical direction every, every year. That's the offline medical director. Now the online medical director is the physician in the emergency department. So if I need um, orders to do something to a patient or if I have a question about the patient that's right there in front of me in the back of the ambulance, or if I have a refusal and I need to get medical direction approval, that's the medical director in the emergency department and that's the online medical director. So offline medical director, uh, you have one for your service and they kind of handle training and education and purchasing equipment, uh, input on that, and they, uh, improvement for your service and then you have online medical direction which is much more focused on the patient that's right in front of you and if you have questions you have concerns you're just not sure what to do um, you can always call them and get uh, further instruction from a physician